But DeSantis has sent migrants on a plane to Martha's Vineyard. Now, this is where the Obamas have a home, Oprah, Beyonce, even James Taylor, who's going to be seeing fire, rain and migrants. Uh, not to mention Rosie O'Donnell. I mean, everybody basically that, you know, on the left has a home there. Do you think they're going to be embracing their new neighbors? <laughs> you know, these are all sanctuary cities until they're in their sanctuary. Right. I, I doubt they'll embrace them. Don't know that I've ever been to Martha's Vineyard. Uh, I've been to places where we've seen these migrants come across. This is not good for America. Uh, every town's a border town, and we need to make sure we get our southern border secured exactly like we did for four years, Jesse. Every town is now a border town. If Kamala and her leftist ilk don't want to see what's happening at the southern border, then we'll bring the southern border to them. We're going to take a look at the latest cringeworthy gaffe by Cackles Kamala. We're going to see the brilliant political strategy being employed by the governors of Florida and Texas. And make sure to stick them at the very end of this video when I'll reveal why Cackles Kamala may indeed have sunk the Democrats for good. You are not going to want to miss this. Greetings, everyone. It's me, Dr. Steve, your patriot professor, here to help you to think better so you can feel better in these crazy and insane and borderless times. So make sure to smack that bell and subscribe button. And gang, if you're a business owner, you have got to meet our good friend, Josh Zaglowski, co-founder of ERC Specialist. He's standing up like no one else against the threat of lockdowns. And you're going to love this. His business ERC Specialist is a specialty payroll company exclusively dedicated to understanding and maximizing what's called the CARES Act Employee Retention Credit. So that's what ERC stands for, Employee Retention Credit. It's for small businesses affected negatively by past shutdowns. If you're a small business owner looking to get up to $26,000 per employee back from bumbling Biden and cackles Kamala, click on that link in the description below to see if you qualify today. This really is an amazing opportunity for you. All right, gang, let's dive right in here. Kamala Harris, cackles Kamala, is getting absolutely crushed by the latest brilliant moves by the governors in the great red states of Texas and Florida. So I'm sure many of you have already heard about Cackle's latest slip up. <laughs> yes, she stepped in it again, if that's possible, right? Cackle's is just the gift that keeps on giving. She was on Meet the Press or Meet the Depressed, as the great Rush Limbaugh would say. Gosh, I miss him so much. She was on with the equally depressing Chuck Todd, who was just lobbing one softball question after another after another. The questions themselves were so pathetically cringeworthy. So Cackles has got no excuse. This was T-ball. Okay, this is, the ball was literally set up to be hit. But at one point, Chucky did ask Cackles to address the southern border and the fact that we've had an unprecedented number of illegal immigrants crossing. And he asked her, do you think the border is secure? And this is what she said. <laughs> Two million people cross this border for the first time ever. You're confident this border is secure? We have a secure border in that that is a priority for any nation, including ours and our administration. But there are still a lot of problems that we are trying to fix, given the deterioration that happened over the last four years. We also have to put in place a, 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 a law and a plan for a pathway for citizenship. <laughs> Why is it that she always looks like she's holding a baguette? She, she always looks like she's got this invisible French bread between her hands. What is, I'll never, and it's so cringe without smacking my microphone here. But regardless, regardless, that was not an answer. What she just gave there was not an answer. That was a lie. She flat out lied. She claimed on national television that our southern border is secure. And then tried to blame Trump the previous administration for any problems that they we have now at the southern border. Needless to say, nobody's buying it. Look at some of the headlines <laughs> across the pond. The Daily Mail mocked cackles with the headline, Kamala Harris claims southern border is sealed in yet another word salad despite crossing, closing in 
on 2 million. Yeah, the border is so secure, just ask the 2 million people who have illegally crossed it, right? The Washington Examiner, no, Kamala, the border is not secure. Fox News, border agents blast Kamala Harris's border claim, say it's far from secure, and on and on and on. But no one has responded better, more brilliantly than the governors from Texas and Florida. Both of them are busy bussing scores of illegal immigrants to woke left-wing liberals' own backyards. It's sheer political brilliance. Let's start with Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. The Massachusetts resort area of Martha's Vineyard, an enclave of the wealthy and the powerful, including Barack Obama, was reportedly jolted upon hearing of the arrival of a group of roughly 50 illegal migrants arriving at their local airport. As it turns out, DeSantis sent over two plane loads of illegal immigrants to the posh resort, basically telling them, hey, you voted for this? Now you're going to live with it. DeSantis' spokesperson said this, quote, States like Massachusetts, New York, and California will better facilitate the care of these individuals who they have invited into our country by incentivizing illegal immigration through their designation as sanctuary states and support for the Biden administration's open border policies. Utterly brilliant. You want them, you got them. They're not our problem. Florida doesn't want to have anything to do with illegal immigration, right? You Democrats do. And so now they're yours. Now, Governor Abbott of Texas has been busy doing every bit the same thing. He's been busing many of the illegal immigrants that have crossed into Texas to self-designated sanctuary cities, particularly the city of New York. But here's the problem. The utterly hypocritical mayor of New York is having an infantile meltdown over these relocations. Again, we need to stress this. Eric Adams, the mayor, actually ran on promising to make New York even more of a sanctuary city for illegal immigrants. And here we are. Texas is open. They say, great. You want them? You got them. <laughs> and Adams, in turn, is flipping out over this. He's like, what are we going to do with all of them? Abbott is doing the same thing with Chicago, making their utterly insane mayor, Lori Lightfoot, freak out over it. She doesn't know what to do with all these illegal immigrants coming into Chicago, and she's busing them into Chicago's suburbs. And perhaps the icing on the cake in all this, Abbott is busing migrants to the very foot of Kamala Harris's vice presidential residence. <laughs> From our southern border have just arrived outside Vice President Kamala Harris's residence at the Naval Observatory in Washington, D.C. Griff Jenkins is live on the scene to tell us more. Uh, Griff, uh, is that Massachusetts Avenue that I'm looking at right there? Yeah. Good morning, Steve, Ainsley, and Brian. This bus just arrived moments ago. I talked to some of the folks. Apparently, this bus has come from Del Rio, Texas. That's what a gentleman on the bus told me. And these, pardon me, de donde eres? De Venezuela. Venezuela? Habla inglés? No. Si, no? No? La, la, pre, la Presidenta Harris dice que frontera cerrado. La frontera es cerrado o abierto? Abierto. Abierto. So what she's saying, Steve, I asked her, Vice President Harris says that the border is closed. She says it's open as we see these migrants coming across now. We're not sure how. <laughs> that is gold, man. Hey, our vice president said the border was closed. What do you think? Is it open or is it closed? And she's like, dude, I'm here, aren't I? <laughs> of course it's open. That is solid gold. And speaking of, our good friends over at Gold Co. are here to help you protect your savings in the midst of all of this economic insanity with the timeless value of gold and silver. They're patriots just like us, gang, and they're here to help you guard and save your assets. Make sure to click on that link below and see how you can get upwards of $10,000 in free silver if you open up an account with them. They're absolutely amazing. Now, you got to imagine that the Biden administration is utterly livid over Cackles Kamala. I mean, because what she did, however inadvertently, what she did by that patently idiotic, ridiculous lie is she just put the southern border catastrophe right back on the front burner for everyone to see. 
Remember, the Democrats have been going full throttle resentment politics over the last few weeks. They raided a former president's personal residence with an absurd pretext regarding classified documents, a crime that the president cannot legally commit. But that gave the clapping feels and the lamestream media something to distract voters' attention away from Biden's undeniable disasters. Then we had Biden's Emperor Palpatine speech, the demonic blood red speech that tried to rally the nation against any and all MAGA loving Republicans, which is basically 90 percent of the party at this point. Then you had the corrupt FBI doing everything they could do to silence and intimidate top MAGA players with their epidemic of raids. The DOJ is sending out subpoenas left and right, right against Biden's political opponents. The Democrats have literally been doing everything they possibly can to distract voters away from something like the southern border. And here comes Cackles Kamala. And what does she do? <laughs> she makes perhaps the single most cringe-worthy statement imaginable regarding the southern border. And the mockery and ridicule that ensued ended up placing the southern border right back at the forefront of voters' concerns. That's the absolute last thing the Democrats wanted to have happen. And Republicans have to keep up the pressure. The MAGA crowd cannot let go of that. And the brilliance of busing these illegal immigrants to these posh liberal cosmopolitan centers is that it demonstrates for everyone to see that indeed every town is now a border town. Illegal immigration is now your problem. You, the cosmopolitan liberal, you, the champagne socialist, you voted for this. Now you got to live with it. It is a brilliant political strategy, and it's forcing the Democrats to own perhaps the single most unpopular issue in the nation. As always, make sure to smack that bell and subscribe button. You'll definitely want to check out my latest video on the massive calls for the ultra-woke Jimmy Kimmel to be canceled as a ridiculous joke of his backfires. You're not going to want to miss it, so make sure to click on that link, and I will see you over there. God bless.